our guy is full coming to you with a two part video. Um, the first part is just going to be a, about what I've been already saying. And then the second part is going to be with where I get or where part of my mindset comes from. You know, the person who I um, that I look from a distance and I say, OK, he's doing something right. Let me um, let me take the same approach. And um, yeah, with that being said, let's uh, let's begin. Let's continue. First part of the video. That woman single, Superwoman single, Wonder Woman single. <laughs> well, when you think about it, though, I think that's what the idea was, was for them to be single for the simple fact that um, it was a matter of women doing what men do. And for the most part, you have male superheroes. So because of feminism and because of um, that movement, guys like uh, Stan Lee and the like thereof had to cater to females as well. But I don't think he was under the impression that they had to be um, in relationships since at the time when the feminism happened, the I don't, I don't need a man syndrome was on high. Therefore, it's only um, those comic book artists just doing that as a means of appeasing women. Let's continue. I get it now. I'm single because I'm a superhero. Well, that's the thing. That's what you guys believe. Like, you guys believe that, you know, that you were just equal to men in every shape or form. When the reality is that God created men and women in their own right. Now, he created them to take equal responsibility. He created them to be in charge of their affairs. But he did not create them to imitate men. And, you know, as it stands right now, that's what many feminists um, do is pretty much just imitate men while having women privileges, you know what I mean? That's pretty much what feminine, uh, what feminists do and what feminism come down to, you know what I mean? Um, men don't need women. That's the thing, and that's just the reality. Men don't need women. Um, I mean, of course, there's a natural desire to want to have women. Yeah, of course. But it, that doesn't necessarily facilitate a need for a woman. We can build this earth, you know, without women. We can do what we need to do without women. Because women have tried to do the same thing as us, it's backfired on them. And that's why you're seeing what's going on right now. And that's why you see that woman who's, I'm guessing she's in her maybe late 30s, early 40s, who's getting on TikTok saying that she's single. But let's get to this part. Talk for a minute. If you're First and foremost, she's not even crying. Um, and the fact is that she's going on TikTok to cry crocodile tears means that she wants someone to feel sorry for her. And 
I'm thinking she wants someone to um, cater to her. That's what I think. And she, of course, with the fake tears, she's looking for a um, a beta male to uh, solicit. But let's continue. I talk to a single mom or date a single mom. I hope. Most of us don't want to talk to or date a single mom, though. Like, that's the thing. Most of us don't want to do that. Um, the only exception to that, that rule that I would make, this is, this is the exception to the rule that I would make. The only reason why I would um, date a single mom or marry a single mother would be that she's widowed that her husband has transitioned. That's pretty much my only way that I would entertain it. Other than that, I wouldn't entertain it. You know, um, the only ones who will entertain it are weak simps. But again, back in the 90s um, and even back in the 80s, a man would take on a single mother because the single mother will understand that um, that man is doing her the favor and that she's not really doing him. That you have real intention to that. That she's not really doing him any favors. So that's why he would take that on, you know. But now you can't do it now. You used to be able to do it in the 80s and 90s, but not anymore. You can't um, date a. You can date a single mother, but um, you know it's going to be very difficult. But let's continue. A person, because when we get heartbroken, we don't just get to choose to come home and be alone. We have to smile when it's time to pick the kids up from school. Um. But that's something you brought on yourself. I can guarantee you this woman um, rejected a lot of nice guys. I can guarantee you she rejected dudes who wanted to settle down with her. But instead she said, you know, I'm going to have some fun. You know, I don't need no man. I'll just sleep with any man when convenient, when I feel like it. I'm pretty sure that's what she did. And so that's why she's in the situation she is right now. Thing is about with most single mothers is that a guy is a resource to them. A guy is not a soulmate to them. A guy is money towards their kids. A guy is... Um, an asset to them whereas a single mother is a liability to us and in order for a guy to reach his full potential and in order for this guy to a guy to level up in every way possible his woman needs to be an asset to him and not a liability but the problem is she didn't get that memo and she thinks that it's up to us to um, to cater to her. And that's not the case. Um, and it's not only her. You know, I've, I've ran into many um, single mothers who have felt that, you know, um, that it's my job to cater to them, you know. And then I, I say, well, why didn't you work things out with your um, your baby daddy instead? I'm pretty sure you guys can, um, how should I put it, mend that relationship and move forward and possibly get married to him. Why don't you do that instead? Instead of getting on TikTok crying, um, looking for sympathy and 
I can guarantee you that what happened with her is that there was a guy, she was probably, you know, giving him crazy sex and he's like, okay, I'm gone. See ya. Whereas she was looking for something very serious and that thing and that serious thing did it happen. So that's why she's crying now. The thing is, is this too. Um, I'm pretty sure there were guys in the past who wanted to take her serious, but she did the same thing that she's crying about with them. That's the whole problem. Well, let's go. We have to put them to bed and we have to be happy, mom. And when y'all come into our lives, playing games or messing with us, it makes our lives a hundred times harder. I don't know how it makes your lives a hundred times harder. Um, I mean, you you didn't think that when you were playing with guys. Like, that's the thing. Um, as as men, we're, we're taught that we have to be emotionally concealed, right? But in concealing our emotions, we're saying... Uh, nah, I'm not going to let this woman get to me. I'm not going to let this woman do this to me. But when a women, when women show their emotions and they start throwing these crocodile tears, it's okay. You know, that's why I say we're not equal because of the simple fact of how different the public perceives us. We're doing the same things, no matter what those things are, you know. But that's what she wanted, you know what I mean? Decided to be a single mother. And that's another thing, like, when you ride constant cock carousels and then a baby comes from it, and you're expecting a dude who was just having fun, to take care of that baby when he's not ready for a baby, then, I mean, you're only fooling yourself. But let me get to the second part. Okay, let's see. Is this everything? I... I all right, I'm gonna tell you why I'm doing this. The reason why I like Khabib Nagamenov so much and that I and that he sparked something in me even is because he's not a simp. Because he doesn't cater to women. Because he stands on his own squares. Because he has something that he's willing to die behind. Also, he beat the brakes off for Conor McGregor, too, which um, was nice to watch. You know what I mean? But I want you to pay attention to something. <laughs> this news reporter, right, is up against the man. Okay? She has a nice chest, right? But look at how this 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 nigga ain't even looking. This nigga's mind is somewhere else, right? But yeah, she's uh, pressing up on him pretty much. But his mind is somewhere else. This is how you have to be with these females. You have to have this mind state. You will be successful if you have this mind state. Although discipline is very difficult to have. Discipline is very difficult. That's that's like the determining factor and the one factor that really keeps people from um, reaching their destination. But let's continue. I think this is a real title. Now, Tony has been talking and saying that he believes your record is padded and that you're a one-trick pony. I mean, what do you think about uh, his comments regarding that? 
I don't know. I think he's just talking. He have to say something because, uh, or you know, like I think he, like he just talking about this. I don't understand what you're talking about, but I feel confident about my like my skills, my record, my everything. You know, that's why I fight for the title. If I, if I have some fake record, why I'm here? Now Conor McGregor's coach today. He see, he he's just looking away and he's not giving her anything to you know be baited upon and that's why i really like him you know what i mean it's like his mind his mind state his mental fortitude is different you know and i took that and put it into my my way of doing things now granted i was already i'm already the type of dude who don't be pushing up on women who don't be running after them who don't be chasing them I'm already that type. Now I don't do that. But he just enhanced it times 1,000. You know, I know to a point where if a woman does try to engage in me, it's just one word answers. A yes, no, hi, and that's it, you know. But let's continue. Did say that he believes uh, that you will win against Tony this weekend, and that he, uh, Connor will fight you next. Do you actually think that Connor will come back and defend his title this year, despite kind of everything going on regarding the Mayweather situation? I don't know. I don't think about him. Is this everything? Okay, I'm gonna take another clip, and it's the same thing. Let's continue. I know this is a hard question to answer, but I have to ask it. Um, what do you believe the future looks like? I know you want to take a little bit of downtime, but do you believe Tony Ferguson is next? Do you want to take a long layoff? I mean, what are your uh, initial thoughts right now? Next is Coca-Cola with ice and, <laughs> and some steaks with burgers. You know, it's like I'm very hungry. So am I. Thank you. Are you, you know, you see that, right? You see what he did, right? Any other dude probably would have hopped on it and said, hey, you want to go get some food or you want to go get some dinner after the fight or whatever the case may be? When she says, so am I, he just simply said, thank you. Okay. And that's how you have to be with these women, you know, unless a woman's going to treat you. I'm going to tell you some real stuff that happened to me a while back. But at, the but at the time, I wasn't really thinking how I was think how I think right now. And I guess you can say shout out to um, shout out to to her husband, because I'm pretty sure he got a good one. But um, I remember I was walking in the cafe and this one uh, woman, she engages me. This one Filipino woman, she kind of like engages me, starts talking to me and stuff like that. And, you know, we start talking, things like that. Um, now granted, like, I'm not um, really expecting anything to come from it. You know, I'm not really like entertaining anything. I'm not really, how should I put it? Like uh, sending any signals, but she kind of took me off guard. She's like, you know, um, you want to go get some food? Have you eaten yet? You know, I said, yeah, okay, we can go get some food, you know? So we go get some food, we start eating, chop it up, chat, and things like that. But when I'm like getting my wallet out to pay for the food, she pays for the food. I'm trying to pay, I'm trying to pay. I'm like, yo, you sure you, you know what I mean? Like, she's like, but she said, no, it's okay. I asked you to come and you came and you didn't have to. After the fact, we parted ways and she said, thank you for the, thank you for, um, like coming. 
thank you for accompanying me to dinner. So I, I was like, dang, you know what I mean? Like I, I was like, she was really on it. You know what I mean? She was really on it. Now, if you take the same example with a Western woman, that would never, ever, ever, ever happen. In fact, what would happen is the Western woman would be entitled and would say, oh, aren't you going to take me out to eat? Or, oh, aren't we going to do this? Aren't we going to do that? As a matter of fact, there was something that happened and I just gave them the silent treatment. Um, there was one incident. It was yes and no answers again. And then this woman said out of nowhere, she said, yeah, in order for a man to please me, he has to take me to the roof, Chris. I'm like, man, okay, well, good luck. But let's continue. But you see how he just brushed her off when she said, I am too. Yeah, me too. He just brushed them off and said, thank you. But let's continue. Uh, did you feel the heat uh, in the lead up to this fight, this, you know, humidity and heat in, here in Abu Dhabi? Uh, I don't understand question, sorry. Was it too hot and humid for you? Yeah, it's like, it's, it's too hot here. But doesn't matter, like, people to, talking before the fight inside the arena, it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be, it's like, like, whatever they say, I say, hey, it's gonna be not only for me, it's gonna be for my opponent, too. If you can fight, I can fight all night, too, you know. I don't worry about this. But right now, I want a little bit to enjoy it. Yeah. Enjoy, eat your burger, eat Thank your you. steak. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you again. See, he even, like, come kind of subtly brushed her off. He's like, you know, I kind of want to enjoy. I kind of want to, like, take some time for myself. I'm, I'm kind of tired of a answering your questions. Like, so can I... Can I get some time to myself, please? Like, he kind of did that, you know, and, and that's why I can respect about him. Um, and the reason why I'm doing a breakdown of him in particular is because what we can learn from him is avoid possible lawsuits, avoid being avoid being the victim of the Me Too movement, avoid being called for rape and you didn't even touch the woman. Because the thing is, these Western women, I'm gonna tell you, because of the simps and because of also thirsty niggas, these Western women are used to the attention. These Western women are used to dudes coming up to them. These Western women are used to having these the, these approaches and advances. So the best thing that you can do as a guy is just starve them out. That's the best thing you can do. As a guy, is just starve them, starve them of their attention. Okay, and they'll eventually reveal themselves. But let's continue and we'll move on to another video. Okay, now right here. Uh, cornering Umlatov, Gamzatov to those victories. You've got Abu Bakr coming up. I mean, how do you think he's going to get on tonight? No, I'm very happy about this. I couldn't. You kind of peeped how he moved. Um, you kind of peeped how he moved away from her because she's like trying to get close. But this, again, this is what women are used to. Okay, they're used to the attention. They're used to guys brushing up on them. They're used to guys pushing up on them. But you see how he kind of like just like brushed to the side and said no i'm not feeling this right well let's let's continue this time guys everybody win now it's turn to abu Bakr. i think he's ready you know he's very good shape now he much better training than last fight and uh, we hope we're gonna knock this guy out and look he obviously on zero points has to get the win to make it to the playoffs and um, what's he done differently he's very you, you see that right <laughs> I love this man. On God, I love this man, okay? This man is a quiet savage, okay? Um, I don't have man crush, but if anybody knows me, everybody knows that in my circle of influence, besides, like, religious figures, besides the 
the the sages that influenced my thinking. Everybody knows that Raekwon, um, Ermius, of course, uh, Scarface, Thomas Sankara, Amilcar Cabral, um, in the light thereof, shape how I think in my mind state, right? But him too, that's the thing, this guy too. Because you can see that she she's subtly trying to brush up on him and he's getting annoyed. You can see he's like, like this woman, man, she, she won't get away from me. You can kind of see that. He doesn't want to outright say it, but you can kind of see like, ah, yeah. And, and the reason why I say this is you have to, you do have to starve these Western women because on one end they'll say, oh, guys aren't approaching me, guys aren't doing this, guys aren't doing that. But on another end, when they do approach, when guys do approach them, that's when you see a different side. That's where you see the curse outs. That's where you see um, them disrespecting a, a, a man. So I say this to say, just ignore them completely. Just don't even pretend that they don't even exist. Like Khabib does. And let's just put it this way. Khabib's money, Khabib's money is very long. And he has no issues with um, sexual harassments or anything like that. Follow his blueprint. But let's continue. Very important fight for him because if you wanna compete in playoff, you have to finish opponent. Yeah. And that's why it's a little bit hard for like about mental, but he's ready. He's ready and we have plan like second round finishing. Okay, and obviously gotta ask you about your own training camp ready for Conor McGregor. How's it going? How are you feeling? I feel great. I keep training here. You see how <laughs> She keeps on trying to brush up on him and he just moves away. He's like, nope, nope. Okay, that's what he does. And I can respect that. She keeps on trying to get into him. He's not even looking in her eyes. And she's trying to like give a stare of death to this dude. But he's not having it at all. Well, let's continue. Yeah, like, uh, even I'm here, I train two times in a day. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm very excited about this. And we have, like, eight weeks before fight. And uh, I'm ready. I'm born ready, you know. <laughs> the thing is, is this dude is very disciplined. And this is a lesson that we need to all take from him, is the discipline. Listen, man, I understand we all have desires. We all have sexual needs and wants but if you can channel those sexual needs and wants and alchemize it into pursuit of financial resources into pursuit of spiritual resources into pursuit of physical well-being resources guess what i guarantee you you're going to be winning you will be winning but anyhow, let's let's continue and break this down. Get another video. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Of being the highest paid. Okay, so this video is of an MMA woman. The thing is, Khabib said something, and I completely agree with what he said. Khabib said that a woman when they when he asked was asked like okay what what should a woman do if she wanted to get into mma or fighting he he says she should stay inside the house and finish her husband off and i completely agree with him i completely agree um now i do agree that you should teach your wife self-defense you should teach your wife how to fight and stuff God forbid she finds herself in a situation where she has to defend herself against something. And yeah, you teach her how to fight. I get that. But for uh, for me personally, 
I'm I'm involved in boxing, you know, I'm a boxer. I wouldn't mess with a female boxer, nor would I mess with a female fighter due to the simple fact that um like do you really want to deal with a woman who's not feminine at all? Do you really want to deal with a woman who's just going to be just as combative? Or if not more combative than, than um, fighters you fight against? So I completely agree with what he said. And plus, yeah, I mean, like, I'm not trying to sound like perverted or nasty or anything, but shoot, fight in the bedroom, you know? Like fight in the bedroom. Keep the bedroom hot. You don't gotta fight outside of it. And I'm I'm just gonna uh, break it down too. This woman's name is Maisha Tate. This is her name. But let's continue. Late on the UFC roster. I mean, it's one of those things that just it it, it makes me less of a fan of Khabib Nurmagomedov, which is sad because I think he's a great athlete. But when you hear something like that as a person, you know, I've made my entire career off of breaking those barriers and he... No, you haven't. I'm going to tell you something about these, um, these female fighter athletes. And this is the cold hard truth about it. And you guys aren't going to like this truth. But men don't care if a female can fight good. If we did care, they would get more respect and they would be higher earners in fighting. The females who make the most in UFC and all these different um, fighting sports, the females who make the most are the ones who show the most even this chick Maisha Tate right here who's talking about Khabib she posts nude in ESPN Ronda Rousey she posts nude in ESPN that's the whole reason why Ronda Rousey was so popular it, it had nothing to do with the fact that she, it had nothing to do with her fighting ability it had to do with her sex appeal and that's just a whole cold hard reality because then when she got her block knocked off one time by Holly Holm, second time by Amanda Nunes, she jumped to WWE. It had nothing to do with her being a, a fighter or being talented. And obviously she wasn't that talented because um, I heard stories that she would get lit up and sparring because her stand-up game is so crap, you know? But that's just a hard reality, okay? Even this woman, Maisha Tate, with her, like, talking how she's talking, even her, she, she'll talk about the guy's attention that she gets, but that's what she wanted overall anyway. Okay, but well, let's continue. It's one of the men who would have stood in my way and I cannot um, happily reciprocate those feelings. Um, you know, so it's frustrating um, and eyes are on him and those things are going to put little snags in, in him moving forward. Do you think he cares though? Do you think he cares? That, that man is a paid man. He doesn't care about the little snacks you're talking about. He is a paid man. So I don't know why she's um, bringing this up. Okay. Well, let's continue. So, I mean, that, I guess that's really what I have to say about it. You know, it's just yeah. kind of like we have advice sometimes for people to just shut up. And, and that's what the feminists want. That's the thing about the feminists. They want us to shut up because there's been, put it this way, my channel is small. My channel is growing, however, by the, inshallah. But a lot, 
I can tell you one thing. You'll be surprised at the DMs I get, boy. These women really are trying to shut me up. Okay, and I haven't even started yet. That's the thing. I haven't even did anything yet. I haven't even invested in the microphone I'm going to get for to bring more clarity to these videos. I haven't in, even invested. And he definitely should shut up and not say things. I, I, I haven't invested in the studio equipment that I'm going to get in order to do this. You know what I mean? This is my hobby, but I decided I'm going to enhance this hobby, inshallah. But you hear her say that he should shut up and stuff like that. Well, at the same time, I'm going to say this. Maybe you should put some clothes on. Because even at the weigh-ins, even at the, this is the thing. If, if, if the women were serious, okay, if the women were serious of their sport, right, and they took the sport serious, there, were, there shouldn't be a need to strip naked at a weigh-in because you didn't make weight. But I think they do that in order, again, to attract the male audience, okay? Because they knew they know otherwise that no, nobody's going to be interested in in watching and watching them. As a matter of fact, I was watching one video with a boxer and stuff like that, and he was talking about he was talking about um. I I think he was talking about. Like, oh, this UFC female looks good. This one looks good. Nah, that one doesn't look good. He wasn't talking about their fighting abilities. So come on, get carry that somewhere else, man. But let's continue. It's like that because it's ridiculous. It's asinine. It's chauvinistic. And, you know. It, it and that's the word they like to use. <laughs> that's the word they like to use the most. And they use that. Uh, Believe it or not, I delete many comments and they call me a chauvinistic um, pig. They call me a misogynist, everything that I get through all the names that get thrown at me. As a matter of fact, I remember one time I was in. Um, I was in Long Beach one time. And there was this one woman, I, I believe she a single mother. Yeah, she a single mother, and um, the, she was going out to a club. Now, mind you, she was with women that were like, like younger than her, like five years younger, ten years younger than her. And I straight out said out loud, it, it was just the African in me. I said, I straight out said, I said. What the hell is she doing going to a club? She should be at home with her kids. You, you, <laughs> I got so many looks. <laughs> I got so many bad, dirty looks. You have no idea. You have no idea. But I still stood on my square. I still stood on my square. I'm telling you. But let's, you hear her though, right? But let's let's listen. It's not going to help him gain any kind of fandom. And OK, do you think he really cares about fans? I mean, really, do you think he cares about popularity? The man comes from Dagestan. Him, him, him making out him being able to collect what he's collecting. It's a win already from where he comes from. Dagestan is one of the places in Russia where it's, it was very harsh. It was a very tough life. Okay? Him coming out of that to where he is today, he's winning. Here's a guy who used to wrestle bears, okay, as a youngin. Full use of Russell Bears. Well, let's continue. Um, yeah, I can honestly say I'm, I'm less of a fan hearing those comments. He doesn't care. He 
I mean, and that's the thing that we have to do as men. Don't care what these females think. Don't care. Okay? At the end of the day, I know this sounds harsh, but they don't matter. What really matters is you getting on your thing and finding that female that's going to enhance it. That's going to add something. That's going to help you get more money. Not one who's going to just preach this feminist crap. Let's continue. Being the highest paid ass. Okay. Let's go to the next part. Okay. Here's one right here. And so, I, like, I shook, I shook the opposing fighter, shook two of the coach's hands, but Habib just completely ignored me. And that's what you have to do. Ignore them. Okay? I did it today. I did it today. Okay? And they couldn't stand it. I was running some earrings. I was in the, um... I was in like one of those postal shops or whatever, and and I had to ship an order. I had to ship an order to a customer. So what happened was there were these two girls and they were um, just talking up a storm about hot girl summer. They were just talking up a storm, hot girl summer, hot, hot girl this, hot girl that. Now granted, like my eyes weren't even on them. I had no um, my, my mind is like, okay, this order is shit. What else do I need to do? Right. Um, they straight up said and whispered and, um, they said, yeah, that, and granted, um, I don't wear tight clothes. I wear moderately loose fitting clothes. They said that they whispered, but I heard it, you know, they said, oh, he must be gay. I said, I heard that. And I'm like, what What gives you that idea? Because I don't acknowledge you. And then they just went quiet. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I thought. And then I just left. You know what I mean? That's That's some of the tools they use. He must be gay. He must be. Um, anti-women this, that, and the other but let's go and uh, at the time at the time, I feel like a horrible person at the time, I did not know that he was Muslim the thing is it's, um, and I'm not trying to um, convince any anybody of my way you know, I'm not trying to that's not my job to do but I'm going to disclose something. Before um, Nipsey Hussle died, we had a conversation about just like old school rules, like just old school rules. And we were talking about like how, yeah, it, it's, it's a good idea not to be like pushing on these women. It's it's even maybe a bet a safer idea not to be like even engaged in these with these women. And he's like, yeah, you're right, you know. Um he's like he's he basically said, you know, I keep them at like three arms lengths. I yeah, I say, yeah, I can see why. You know. And I even said that, you know, how you operate with um the the interviews you do and stuff like that, you don't, um, which one call it, you don't, you, you just do the interview and leave. You don't even like be like doing no small talk, doing no nothing. You just like take off. You know, I'm like, um, that's how it has to be, you know, with these modern women, especially the feminist modern woman. You can't give them more than they, you can't give them anything that they can capitalize off of or possibly ruin you or possibly take all your resources and take everything you're worth for. 
you know, everything you're worth. But let's continue. So I just want to put that out there. So I didn't know he's Muslim and he just completely ignored me. So I'm like standing there while they're announcing the winner. I was like, wow, like, did I do something? Did I say something? Like, She wasn't like that, though. Um, what it was is that she and granted, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, these these um, women, be it inside of the fighting game or outside of the fighting game. When you do ignore them, when you don't even acknowledge them, them being there, they can't stand it because they're so used to it. They're so used to getting attention from simp and beta males. They're so used to getting attention from thirsty uh, men. They're so used to it. So they be become accustomed to it. And because they become accustomed to it, when a nigga comes along who doesn't give that same energy that they're looking for, they're they're left puzzled and confused about why it's not happening because they're so used to it happening, right? I don't think I like I didn't say anything to him, so it couldn't be I said something like he really just doesn't like me. Okay, this is this is weird. And that's how you have to be. And and and, and you know, I I've had females tell me they they just don't like me. They're like, man, I don't like how you act. And I just shrug my shoulders. I'm like, okay, like what? Am I supposed to be offended by that? And that's the thing that we that I'm going to instill in my kids early on when I do, you know, have a family and stuff like that. Inshallah, is that you don't have to be liked by everybody and you don't have to try to please everybody you know what i mean but let's continue um so they announced the announcer winner uh his guy won our guy lost so we were walking out the cage and we shook each other shook everyone's hand again i shook the coach's hand and i went up to habib and like i was like i'm just gonna shake his hand like i'm, I'm just gonna go up to him so i went up and let that be a lesson that sometimes it gets to a point where they're so bothered by you not giving them attention that they will literally just try to come up to you. You know what I mean? Because it, it blows their mind. It boggles their mind why you're not doing what every other, what 99% of other guys do that they're around. But let's uh, continue on. Two more little breakdowns and then I'm done with this section. All right, recently, Habib made some controversial comments about ladies in fighting, saying that uh, women need to fight at home and finish off their husbands. What did you think as a... And, and I completely agree with them still. You know, I know, I know people are going to be mad at that, but yeah. I mean, if you, if you have a strong man and if you have a man who's handling business, I mean, it, you're winning. You're absolutely winning. I mean, you have companion, companionship. If he's taking care of everything financially, you have that. And if he's like handling the other things too, like why are you, why do you have the need to like want to get into combat sports? You know what I mean? Like you want CTE or you want the chance of having CTE? Like. I mean, why why do you do that? I mean, you look at her, and 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 this is a result of feminism. The the thing is about feminism, it it's a, it actually makes women more masculine, you know, because they think they can do anything. The only reason why, for example. With my dad's struggle, 
against the Portuguese. The only reason why they put women in the field is because there were no other choices. This was the only choice to have victory. If there was any other options, we would take it. But armed struggle with women involved was the only option. But here, these women are, are, are actively seeking this out. Okay? Which I don't know why they are, but okay. But as you see how she looks, um, she looks quite masculine. So, it's understood. Fighter yourself and a very talented one. What did you think about those comments? I, at first, it, I just laughed at, I don't know, this, I love Khabib and then he says that, he's crazy, you know? How is he crazy? Like, just give me the reason why he's crazy for thinking logical. I was thinking logical crazy. Let's take a hypothetical situation. Say a man's not involved in fighting, but his woman is. Do you think when he comes home and he sees his wife with a black eye and, you know, daddy lump lump on her forehead and stuff that he's going to want to engage her? The only reason he'll want to engage her is if he's a simp and he says, oh, it's okay, baby. We can heal that. No. Well, let's continue. Oh, um, I finished <laughs> to finish off, you know, to say to finish off your husband's pretty crazy. You know what I mean? We all have skill. We all have talent. Um, it's pretty, pretty shitty of him to say, you know, uh, we all, we all should be treated equally as fighters. We work really hard. And okay. Um, here's the thing about that. Yeah, you should be treated equally. But the bottom line is this. People watch fighting nine times out of 10 because of men, okay? Unfortunately, female boxing, female MMA isn't as big as the male side. That's when any sport though, basketball, I would say that the only sport which has kind of the same attention on the male side as it does the female side is track and field. I would say that's the only sport for real. But let's continue. Our faces smash it, smash in as much as any man does. So yeah, we see you in here putting in the work, working as hard as anybody else, like you say. And the interviewer is just a simp too. That's the thing. That's why he has that job, because he probably never even gets as close to women as he would if he wasn't interviewing. So you can tell he's a weak male, too. But let's go to one final clip. As a woman fighter and as a woman, too, um, I think, I think, yes, a woman needs to be a woman, like know how to make, to cook. By the way, I don't know how to cook. I mean, she just told on herself. She just told on herself. She even said a lady needs to be a lady, but she doesn't even know how to be a lady. What does that tell you? <laughs> know how to cook, know how to be a woman in the house. This is okay, but it's not, it's not like a fighter, like a woman when she's a fighter. Like, she has no choice. When you're a fighter, you're a fighter. And like, woman is the same. Is eagle and man, like. See, that's the lie they were told. That women are equal to men. Not equal to men, bruh. That's just the bottom line. You're not equal, okay? The thing is, is this. We were created to be individuals and have different individual strengths. 
and have different individual advantages. But when you put that individuality together, they complement one another. But because feminists want the best of both worlds, they want to be able to be calling the shots, being manly, and being women at the same time. They think like this woman thinks. Okay? We're not the same. Men and women are not the same. That's just the bottom line. Khabib shows that men and women are not the same. But let's continue. In boxing or fighting or MMA. Like, and I don't see like any why men can fight and women no. Like, no, for me it's not possible. <laughs> women should be able to do what they want to do. Yeah, women. When you have simps like this who who egg egg on and ignite the flame of feminism, then really you you have to say that, you know, um it's no wonder where where we are right now. When you have men who are contributing to that, you know, like this reporter. Yeah, I'm very feminist. So this is not possible for me. Like, you cannot say to me, like, a woman cannot do what a man cannot do, uh, what can do. Like, it's not possible. So in, in a nutshell, you know, she told on herself and told it. Like, she basically told us what it is with her. Um, let's see. Let, let, I'm going to end the video on this. Um, let's see five years from now, maybe seven years from now. Let's see if she's with a high quality man, settled, having a family, having beautiful kids, having resources secured. Let, let's see down the line if that's going to occur with that in, in that mentality. But anyhow, man, I know this was a long one, but I had to give my flowers to Khabib while he's still here. Definitely going to give my flowers to that guy, you know, homo, for like, like enhancing my mind state, you know. Picking, I suggest you pick his brain. If you're a guy, pick that nigga's brain. And he does things that you can apply to your daily lives. But anyhow, Fulu signing out and job.